It's time to tune in and discover the best of K-pop and Korean culture on Radio News. These days, we express almost everything through text. For those looking to send a message with impact, this is a segment where we help you craft the perfect words. Text me is the name of this segment, and let me introduce our guests for today. We have Yue of Rapulus and Vinci of Horizon joining us. Welcome! Hello! Hello, 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 hello. Hey, yay! Hey, hey, All right, who are you, ma'am? Hi, I'm Lapulus, this is you, eh? Yay, who are you, sir? And I'm Horizons Vinci. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming through. All thank right, you guys. for having us. How's Again. life? Life has, oh, I've been busy. Yeah. We changed dorms. Yeah. It's very stressful. <laughs> Do the anchors know you guys changed dorms? I think, I mean, yeah. we kind of mentioned, like, oh, like, yeah, we're going to be changing dorms, but, yeah. like, yeah. How is and it? Stuff. Oh, no. I don't <laughs> even want to talk about it. Because on top of everything, like, it Was that bad? It was that bad, oh, but, wow. and and the the bad thing about yesterday it was it kept raining right. Uh-huh. It was such a, like it didn't rain really? the whole week and then it decided to rain yesterday when we wanted to move. <laughs> oh my god, that's horrible. Like why? I think I was like yeah, a disaster. It, and yeah. it was yeah, it was very unlucky with, for me yesterday yeah. too. Like my glasses broke, and my my, <gasps> my that's why you're not wearing it today. Yeah, I oh wanted to wear god. it today, and then also my luggage broke. What? <laughs> my yeah, luggage. How? Now, how am I going back to the Philippines now? <laughs> so that's what I wanted to voice out today. I'm very Dude, you stressed. you could just borrow one from your manager or something. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe we could. Wow. But still, but were you personal. specifically attached to that luggage? Yeah, it was my first luggage coming, going to Korea, <laughs> oh, wow. going back and forth. It was my one and only true love, oh, and now so it's cracked. So a lot of stories embedded in yes, that Yes, exactly. A lot wow. of stickers, a lot of probably gems from other countries. You know what? In that regard, I got another <laughs> question to you. What's the most special memory related to that luggage? Mm, to that luggage, I think it's... Mm, well, I just really treasure it because, yeah. I, you know, like a lot of people like yeah. lose their luggages through, right. you know, through flights. And right. we have been through lots of flights, right. you know, that's the life of a our life, life. Yeah. Yeah, the K-pop <laughs> idol life. You fly, fly, fly. Wow. <laughs> and good thing that it never got lost because I almost wanted to buy like, you know, those things that you can track. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some people like buy tag. those. You're talking about the Bluetooth luggage that follows you around wherever you go? <laughs> no, no, it's a tag. It's a tag that you no. put in your luggage. Yeah, it's and you can like, track your luggage with yeah, that? Yeah, it's like a micro, like a tag, and then you yeah. put it there, and then yeah. it, it goes up on your phone. Interesting. Yeah, you can do that. Okay, thank you so much. If you, you have so trust much. issues. <laughs> 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 All right, what about you, Yue? You idea hey. got trust issues. Me? <laughs> With my luggage? No, not really. Oh. I think I'm good. You haven't had any, like, luggage mishaps? <gasps> we did. You did? It did you find it? Yeah. Okay. It was, I think, well, where was it? I think it was in Mexico. Oh, wow. There was one time where our luggage didn't come, but it wasn't mine, so <gasps> yeah. thank God. Oh, yeah, but I think I heard about it that. It was, like, a staff's, and it had, I think, our clothes in it. Oh, our my performance God. Clothes. <gasps> And it was gone. And so basically what happened, the the flight basically told us they would just send it to our hotel. So oh, that was the good part. Amazing. But Lucky you found it. Yeah. Where did it go, though? Oh, wow. I don't know. It was just lost somewhere. No, actually, I think it didn't even, like, fly or something. What? I think it got left behind. Yeah, it got left behind. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> All right, so how much stuff are you going to be bringing to Japan? Japan? <laughs> it's a weird question to ask, but still, yeah. I don't know, yeah, because I, I haven't packed yet, although I think we're going next week, maybe. Oh, no. Aren't you supposed to be packing right now, then? Yeah, we always pack, like, the day before we go. Yeah. Oh, my God, you're going to be staying there, like, a month, so. Yeah, I should prepare, but. Yeah. yeah. So what's your must-have item when you go to other countries? Um, Maybe... Um, I don't know. Cell phone. Cell phone. Yeah, the <laughs> candle <laughs> speaker. A speaker. No, actually, I don't think I speak. What do I bring? I bring like like purple shampoo. Purple shampoo. <laughs> oh, I need to bring like my red conditioner, like oh, hair dye. Yeah. Oh yeah, wow. to keep the red alive. To keep alive. my hair red. Interesting. I can I can tell it's slowly wearing off. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's in the bun. It's like yellow at the bottom. <laughs> right <laughs> into the background of our. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good. All right. Speaking of hair color, Vinci, are you planning to dye your hair anytime soon? 
Yeah, or actually, bleach your I've hair, been maybe? thinking about it because yeah. in real life it's kind of, kind of brown, right? Right. But like in the mm -hmm. camera here, it looks very black, and it, I like it. Yeah. So thank you for the cameras here. <laughs> you might have inspired me to dye your hair in black. Yeah, I like. I just like it plain, simple. Mm. But here's a question: me. Do you have the freedom to dye your hair in whatever color you want, though? For comebacks, no. No, but yeah, you just get surprised. Oh. Even with the haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> but like, we always joke like. When the, when the hairdresser comes, I'm just gonna put my fingers here and let's see, let's see if they try cutting it. <laughs> All right, thank you. Anyway, uh, today the weather was really cold, right? It was. Mm -hmm. Yes, winter is approaching, and yes. in Korea, people often eat a snack called plumpang. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh. Yeah, fish bread during winter. So you guys ever tried that? Yep. Yes. yes. The mung, wait, was it mung bean? The red bean? Yeah. The one red inside. Bean? Yeah, uh -huh. red bean is the red most basic one. Basic mm -hmm. one. And nowadays they put everything in it. Yeah. Like pizza flavor. What? Yeah. Like kohuma. Like sweet potato flavor. <gasps> I really mean, good. sweet potato, that was the kind of thing that I could understand them putting that in. But pizza, I never understood it's the really logic good. behind that. Have you had like yeah. pizza bites before? What do you mean pizza bites? It's like... Like this? Yeah. Like mm. small pizzas? Yeah. What's the point of eating that when you can have a whole box of pizza? You can have like a bite of pizza, you know? Wow. So no. it's kind of similar to that. So oh. I think that's why it's good. But the texture is a little different, though. Yeah, it's a little Pumapang, different. it has a little more crunchy text to it, texture mm. to it. No? Does it have? It's like, it's like chewy. Is it, is it like soft? Chewy and, and yeah. crunchy on the outside. No? Crunchy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you mean like if you bite it, there's like... Oh my god, you guys never tried an authentic Pumapang in this country. Yeah, maybe. It's supposed maybe. to be extremely crunchy oh, on really? the skin side and oh. should be very moist and chewy on the inside. Okay. That's have what we, we call been a legit yeah, Pumapang. We have been eating four feet. <laughs> that, those are fake. We've been eating the <laughs> fake Maybe the Pioneer Jump ones are like not good. Oh my yeah. god. Maybe we need to buy from like the actual <laughs> provinces of Korea. Uh -huh. Wow. Alright, Vinci, so among the Pumapangs you tried, what was your favorite? You had said hers is pizza. Um, yeah. the no, one mine, mine is sweet potato. Oh, okay, sweet yeah. potato it is. Then what is M yours? Mine is the ice cream version. Ice cream? <laughs> ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's there's an ice cream shaped like a bongo pang, right? What? There isn't. <laughs> there, oh, oh, yeah, we do. I told yeah. you guys. Guys, I'm not lying. The ice cream. Oh, yeah. yeah. But no, it just pretends yeah, it's like pretends. it's yeah, bongo It's yeah. fake. <laughs> it's not actually bongo pang. It's just it's an ice cream shaped like a bongo pang. But like... Yeah. Good for me. I like it. Yeah. Well, um, so um, apparently there is actually there is this personality test based on which part of the <gasps> plumpang you eat first. first? <gasps> yeah. So which part do you start with? Do you start with the head or do you start you with first. the tail or <laughs> belly <laughs> or the fin part? Belly? Yeah. Uh, I, me, I tend to chew on the belly part first when I... Really? Yeah. Me. I belong to this category. Two. But what about... Yeah. <gasps> Three, two, one. Let's go. Belly. Really? Yes. Belly. See? Because I want the the, the, the filling already, like, right. right away. I mean, nothing is more satisfying than chewing on yeah. the whole chunk of yeah. filling, right? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Filling right away. Oh, what about you? I, I always start from the tail. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Hey, oh, Why? Because it's easier to bite. But then it's bland, isn't it? You no, but then you huh? save the best part for last. Oh. You are usually a pungopang is the size of a little smaller than a grown <laughs> adult's hand. <laughs> So uh, like it this. shouldn't be that hard to <laughs> take mean, a bite like, on it. You can like it's like it's like rectangular shape, right? Yeah. If you eat it like this, then like it's gonna get everywhere. There's a whole lot more stuff. Does it say anything? Really? You try that. <laughs> I recommend you try that. Does it say time. anything about your personality if you just swallow it whole? Oh no, there's no such <laughs> Would option. Would be something like that? Because I Is think that, that even possible though. Oh. Uh, with my members, you never know. Really? <gasps> yeah, you, they just put everything in their mouths and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, I think. Wait, so who's capable of eating like that? Um, Kyler. Kyler? Our visual, yeah. He has a Dude, pretty face. Dude, like the smallest mouth from your He fruit, looks a little, he, like yeah. he does, yeah. but like he can bite. Interesting. He can bite. Interesting. And chew. Okay, maybe we should be preparing for a plumopan when yeah. you guys make your call back to this show. <laughs> All right, anyway, um, so you uh, you chose the tail, uh, tail uh -huh. part, right? So uh -huh. tail, it says, uh, where is tail, tail, tail? You are very discreet, sophisticated, uh. and uh, very... <laughs> very demure. Very, very demure, yeah, very demure. Very cutesy. But, I like that. Yeah, and uh, on the other hand, you, sir, who starts off in the pig. belly part, you are the passionate part, oh. passionate type oh, of person. we're passionate. Who loves to stay active, do, uh, love mm. doing sports. Oh, no, 
No. <laughs> nope. Not really. I hate all of sports. Really? <gasps> yeah, I do. Interesting. I hate everything. Wait, then if you were to choose a sport that you might enjoy, what would it be? Football. Football. Yeah. I'm talking about football. this football or oh, the like foot football? Soccer. 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 <laughs> soccer. Um, yeah, soccer. Okay. And the reason is? Um, I don't know. I have trauma about it. Oh, when, I was, when I was in second grade, I yeah. played it. Yeah. And then I put it in our goal. Oh. And I was like, this is so easy. Like, I just put it in, <laughs> I just put it in the net with the, my group mate. Like, yeah. that's easy. <laughs> oh, my God. And then, oh, I see. It should be the other way around. You go to the other group's <laughs> net. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyways, uh, guys, for the ones who chose to, decide, uh, chose to eat from the head, you are the optimistic person. Mm. And uh, the one who starts with the thin part, you're the kind and very calm type of person mm. and uh, yeah that's about it thank you so much for Cute. your answers Vinci and you and with that we are gonna explain what this segment is all about for the listeners yes V-I-N-C-I take it away text me is a segment where DJ Samuel and two artists help listeners who are looking for impactful texts and need some advice whether it's a message to express your feelings to someone you like a text to make up with a friend or even a message when you need to ask someone a difficult question if you're unsure sure how to word it send your stories to text me Yay! yeah so in this segment we also get to hear some songs chosen by our amazing guests so look forward to their song selections and let us get to the first message yes this Vinci. is from adrian the storm spirit hello dj sam vinci and ua right now i'm still a student in my final year of pursuing a program with classes happening every thursday to saturday my friends who have finished their bachelor's degree planned a stay vacation happening this Saturday right after my class. I wasn't against it as I already told my mom two weeks prior about our get-together. However, upon knowing its address, I told my friends that she may not allow me as it's quite far and might even doubt it. As expected, she questioned it and I implied I don't even know why they chose that location. As a as an ambivert hantu, how should I tell my friends or to consider them everybody's circumstances when it comes to planning a vacation in the near future? Interesting. Mm. So this is a concern in who should this person be texting to? Then? Is I, it the mom or uh, the friends? Oh, right, right? <gasps> You're right. I, I know, right? This is a little oh. vague, but let's um let's just say he has trouble trying to open up a conversation friends. with his friends. I yeah. think they're the friends, yeah. Okay. The okay. friends. To the friends. Texting to the friend. What do you do? Interesting. Well, you uh, you have any opinions? <gasps> uh, you have. I, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> you. I don't know. Honestly, like, it's, it, um, I mean, I, I feel like I, I would just tell my friend, like, truth, truthfully what my mm. situation is yeah. and... If I don't really want to go, just don't go, I guess. But Adrian here seems to it seems like he is down to this gathering thing. Yeah, hmm. but I think he's having a hard time going, so <laughs> I don't know. Maybe yeah, because of his mom, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Because mom's actually going to be against it, according hmm. to his message. So. Yeah. Oh, so maybe he should be sending a text message trying to persuade his mom hmm. to say that yes be about this too. vacation. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Vinci, any hmm. opinions? Usually, I just lie. <laughs> <laughs> but you, just, you just lie to who? To my mom. Yeah? I'm like, I'm just going to do something. Yeah? And then I just go away. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not a good, a good solution. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you're not a good liar. If you want to be truthful, then... I well, it could go both ways because sometimes when I talk to my mom about when when I was younger, yeah. I used to like joke her into it. Okay. Like, I I'll bribe you. I'll give you massage. <laughs> I'll give you. I'll clean the dishes or something like that. Aww. Like you do that. Wait, but I guess that only works if you're very young. Right. But Once you're past a certain age, it doesn't work, man. <laughs> yeah, maybe no. So I guess just speaking to your friends how you really want to come and it's only because your parents are not allowing you mm -hmm. is the problem because it could also go in a way that mm -hmm. their friends mm -hmm. are thinking that 
they just want to dip. They just don't want to go. Okay. Because they're just, I don't know, maybe lazy or like they don't feel like going out. Right. But then if they explain that it's their parents' fault, maybe for the next time, mm -hmm. they could consider that, that, that their parents are more, you know, restrictive towards those type of situations. Mm -hmm. Okay. You, I got a question to you. You ever been to an overseas, well, friends gathering vacation? No. No? <gasps> overseas, no. No? No. All right. What about domestic ones? Um, Like sleepovers? Sleepover? Yeah, I guess it counts, yeah. <laughs> if you leave, uh, live far enough. Well, it's not that far, actually. How long does it take to get to your friend's place? Like by car, 10 minutes. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, very right. So it's not, not a vacation at all, then. Yeah. Huh? I don't think I ever had a vacation with my friends before. Wait. So your parents never said no to um, when you wanted to go sleep over another place? Place. Yeah, nope. I I never wanted to go. <laughs> wow! I, I but you went there to, anyway. Yeah, because yeah. it was for I think that time it was because we had like a school project, ah. so we had to do it together. But Interesting. I used to hate sleeping at other people's beds, so that's why. Mm. Yeah, that is a thing. But I got used to it now. So yeah, <laughs> they can sleep <laughs> when yeah. it's not their own bed. Yeah, yeah. I can I can sleep that on the floor happen. now. So the case is different in U.S. case. Parents are the ones who was trying to as who's pers who's been persuading her to go to other people's <laughs> yeah. place to sleep over. All right, yeah. but she doesn't want to. Interesting. Well, um, guys, it's going to be a little tricky for this first it message. Is. So we are going to be needing your opinions through YouTube live chat. So get those messages in by dropping a comment. All right, guys, with that, uh, shall we recommend songs for Adrian? Yes, I brought in the song Situationship what? by Soul. I, this is the hardest message to find a song to. <laughs> it is. So yeah. when I found this song, which is Situationship, I think it was very not connected mm -hmm. In the term romantically, because I think situationship is just a, more of like a romantic term. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think this is a situation <laughs> that is not situationing. So yeah. <laughs> not situationing it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about you, you? The song that I chose is Let Me Know by BTS something because like I want to say like you can either tell your friend like let me know what's happening if oh. we can change the location or you can ask your mom like let me know if you change your mind or something mm. if I do something. Yeah. Okay. Well, during the next song break, each of our guests will, will be working on the uh, text message. So, uh, guys, you guys should be working on yours, too. Send them in through YouTube live chat. We have Soul with Situationship featuring Tama, chosen by Vinci. And the second one is, is BTS with Let Me Know, chosen by Yue. Enjoy! Welcome back. The previous songs were Soul with Situationship featuring Tama. And the second one was BTS with Let Me Know. Guys, time to finalize the message for Adrian. Uh, what do you have here? You it? Um, okay, I wrote two messages. Okay, so, so one is for their mom. And it okay. said, Hey mom, I know you may not be comfortable with me hanging out with my friends, but I hope you can trust me once. I promise I won't let you down. And to their friend said, Hey, friend name. I don't know if I will be able to make it this time because of my schedules. I hope next time you could tell me in advance so I could be sure to make it. But thanks anyways for inviting me. Ah, thank you. What about you, Vinci? I said, <clears throat> really want to come but something came up. Sad face. Let me know next time when you guys want to meet up again. Okay. What if you were to send a message to your mom? What would mom. it be? Mom. Yeah. Mm. Let's say you're there to persuade her. Okay, persuade yeah. my mom. I would say, Mom, I'm gonna go with my own money. And boom, <laughs> period. Oh, That's wow. done. Okay. <laughs> well, apparently, uh, this person already spent a really great time with his friends last week. Uh, Adrian mm. on YouTube, she he says, That occasion already happened last week, though. Those were the photos I showed earlier. Not a coincidence. Oh, so he mm. actually shared a couple of pictures during the first hour ah. of today's show, and uh. he was at this really fancy resort. And oh. according to that message, he was there with a couple of friends of mm -hmm. his, and there was this huge pool, pool in front of it. Oh. And other fancy stuff. So he had a time of his life last week. All right, but um, <clears throat> what about some other opinions from the listeners? Yes. Do you guys want to read any comments? 
Yep, this is from <clears throat> It's Me Jesus 07. Hi, I'm sorry, but I can't join the staycation since my mom won't let me go. I hope you understand. Next time, I'll try to help arrange it so my parents will be okay with it. Have an amazing time. Oh, okay. Uh, someone called July said, Two friends, hey, I was really looking forward to our, our, our adventure, but my calendar has thrown a plot twist my way. <laughs> Let's plan something epic soon. Wow. That's... <laughs> that's good. <laughs> and another one, Vinci? As he says, I don't know what to advise because way back when I'm in that kind of situation, I'm the one who will create <gasps> endless excuses just to not come with my friends. Hey, hey, by the way, can I get a belated happy birthday? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Belated happy birthday. Belated happy birthday. All right, so uh, let's finalize the message then. First off, a message to the mom. Uh, what kind of what kind of what sentence we should kick mom. off? Hmm. Perhaps we should begin with "Hey, mom." Hey, mom. That's the most casual one. Yes. So, yeah. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Hey, mommy. Let me go. Let me go there <laughs> with Let my friends. I wanna be <laughs> recording us on the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? I'll be safe. All right. So, hey, mom. Uh, what's the next sentence? Mm, I know you may not be comfortable with me hanging out with my friends. Hmm. Or I don't have a mom. You know what? I think it should be okay, a little more <laughs> casual. So uh, how about we stick to the one from July? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, She yeah. said, a little adventure is calling my name. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> a little adventure is calling my name. Oh, my God. Not dolling my name. Adventure is. What you laughing at? <laughs> she was looking at my paper. <laughs> And I was like, I don't have a mom. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have a m message to the mom. Okay. Totally fine. Totally fine. Yeah. All right. Checking. So, uh, what should the third line be? Um, I promise be the I'll last be safe. One. Good. Yeah. Hmm. I promise. promise I'll be safe because that's oh. that is very important to parents. Safety. Yeah. Yeah. Safe. And come back. What's the closing line? <gasps> I will come back home. Uh, how about we end it? I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll be, be back. back. <laughs> I'll be back. Back to back to back. Okay. And uh, what about a message to the friends here? Friends. Yeah. Friends. Hey. Hey, friends. Hey, I just friend. met you. Hey, friends. Uh, let's make it plural. Yeah. And mm -hmm. hey, what was the second line from Vinci? Oh, let me know next time when you guys want to meet up again or. Oh. I really want to come up with some. Uh, I really, I really want something to come up with something came up. Maybe something came up only. Right. Something, yeah, came, something up. came up. Very sweet. Very true. Very sweet. Okay. What something is... came up. And then, what was your third line? My third line. Yeah. I hope next time. I hope next time you could. Tell me in, in advance. So or I maybe we sure. could shorten it down to maybe next time. Maybe next yeah. time. Maybe next, next time. Maybe next time. And then, what should the last emoji be for this? Um, mm. um, uh, a, waving a waving emoji. Oh, that's maybe? great. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Arrivederci. Hmm? Oh, that's goodbye in uh. Italian. <laughs> Arrivederci. Okay. This is really good, actually. Very simple, getting straight to the point. So uh, our final uh, message that we came up for Adrian is, first one to mom, it goes, Hey mom, a little adventure is calling my name. I promise I'll be safe. I'll be back. And to their friends, it goes, Hey friends, something came up very sweet. Maybe next time. Well, d are you satisfied with it? Yep. Are you satisfied? Yes, sir. Very concise. All right. I Sounds hope good. Adrian is satisfied with this as well. And with that, we are going to move on to the second message. You take it away. Okay. The second message is from July. And they said, Hi there, DJ Sam, you and Da Vinci. Ha 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 chi. Hi. I'm July, a fourth year college student currently navigating the thesis process, which is a significant requirement for graduation. I partnered with a friend for this project, and this is our first time working together on a paper. As they say, a thesis tests true friendship, and I can 
certainly attest to that. Certainly,、uh, recently we were tasked with creating a thesis concept paper. During our meeting to divide the work, I was surprised to see that she had completed her section very quickly, which typically requires an extensive research and careful verification. Trusting my instincts, I ran her work through an AI checker, and unfortunately, it showed a hundred percent plagiarism. <laughs> <laughs> Given our university's、uh, commitment to academic integrity, I am concerned about the implications for both of us, as I will be held accountable as her partner. While while I value our friendship, I cannot overlook this issue. I don't have the guts to discuss this with her in person. What's the best way to message her about it without risking our friendship or possibly offending her? Sar hard, hoo hoo. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. What would you say to your friend Benji? To my friend, I think it's very hard to admit that you check their like work through AI because that means you don't trust the thing they put out. Me personally, on the other end, I think otherwise is because it has nothing to do with trust issue. She's just being thorough about this project,、mm. and、uh, but she, I think、yeah. if it was to happen, it. It should like happen real time with her, right? Like, let's check,、oh. let's check your work, and、okay. let's like, like like let's put our project into、okay. the AI checker and let's see if what comes out. Yeah. Even if they already check beforehand, instead of like doing it、right. behind them and then、right. telling them like, oh, I checked your work and then like that, like that.、Uh, I I guess I guess in this way, if、yeah. they checked it、mm. at the same time, okay, it could be like it could already start the conversation right away. It could be like, oh,、mm. we need to change some things up, and because it's it's coming out like there's plagiarism. Okay, well, guys, uh, please, uh, recommend, please give us some recommendations about this uh, message, and uh, during the next song break, we're gonna listen to two songs and come back for more. We have a song recommended by Yue. From Blackpink with Playing with Fire, Pu Changnan, and Espa with Drama, chosen by Vinci. Enjoy. We just had Blackpink with Pu Changnan playing with Fire, and the second one was Espa with Drama. Hope you guys enjoyed. All right, guys, do you guys have any more opinions about this message? Well, I'm asking this question all only because I saw an interesting comment on、mm-hmm. YouTube from Bronte. It goes, "Sometimes if you put your writing in an AI platforms, it uploads to the database. Even if it's just edits grammar,、mm-hmm. this can create a prompt for use of AI. So,、ah. which means she could have finished the work by herself, but she was uploading it to the AI platform just to、yeah. get her grammar checked. Yeah. This could be、mm, the case.、True. Yeah, and、uh, Peter says." Plagiarism checkers is a mandatory though, so it's okay to point out to your friend. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Because AI can be tricky. Because、mm. what if that friend <coughs> used grammar checkers, right? Yeah. To fix it, and then of course, then that's gonna be like counted as AI, right? Right. But then I don't think it's very wrong to. Use AI to check for grammars at、mm. least, not like the content, but at least the grammar to、mm. get it checked and like make everything、mm. like seem more seamless and、mm. more concise. Maybe that could be the case. But if the the thing is, I guess like the problem with this sender is they're saying that the friend, the partner, is claiming that it's their own,、mm. but、mm. then it's appearing as AI. So.、Yeah. I guess that's the hold up there.、Mm. <laughs> oh, a clever opinion from Riza. Hey, I checked your work with AI because you finished it so quick. Well, this <laughs> may be a great opener for、yeah. our message.、Um, so, oh, uh, or how about we、yeah. ask, "Are you AI?" Oh <laughs> my God, that's because a that great was、opener. fast. Are you an AI? Are you AI? Yeah. <laughs> And what should the next line be? Um. I wish I could do that that fast. Do, fin, I could. I wish、oh, uh, something. You were very fast. You were very <laughs> fast. You were really fast. You, you were, were normal poly. Yeah, you、S-A-O. were very, <laughs> very、uh, fast. <laughs> And any line from your message? You? My message. Um.、Uh, mm. uh, Looks very mine serious. Mine is like very serious.、Yeah. So, but like I guess. I, the most important part, I said, I was like, I was thinking since I'm almost finished with my part,、mm. we could check、mm. our project with a plagiarism、mm. checker just、yeah. in case.、Oh. It would be horrible if we got falsely accused for something we worked so hard for. Oh, 
Then uh, how about we just shorten it down? Like we should run this, uh, run it through. Uh, D. What AI checker? What was his name? Plagiarism checker. You know what? I'm just gonna write AI. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. easy. And easy what here. about you, Vinci? Any um, final closing line? I just said in the last statement, I can't not graduate. <laughs> I cannot because <laughs> they're four years, so they're graduating mm. soon. Yay! Yeah. So this is crucial. Emoji. Is this a crying emoji? That's no, a this one is <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm just sometimes I do that. I use yeah. the cry emoji to right, make up for the laughs. This looks a whole lot more sad than the yeah. first one. All right, this is gonna be our final result Amazing. for this second message. Well, that wasn't that hard, was it? Yeah, <laughs> we got it. Thank you to the send to the comment to yeah. the sender who yeah. commented about the AI thing. Yeah. What about you? Do you think the final result has contains all the points that she should be making to her friend? Yeah, I think so. It's very straightforward. <laughs> I think they will get it. I mean, this is a very Korean way of mm. sending someone a text. Says our mm. language is very linear. Mm -hmm. We get straight yes. to the point. Yeah. So mm. uh, this, I'd say, is a very Korean way. Uh, so you can text like this to your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Hope the sender Jelly likes it. Anyway, with that, it's time to wrap up the show, guys. Well, time went by real fast today. Anyway, uh, the last song is going to be a song by ATBO with Text Me 1052. Ooh. This has been your host, Samuel Wills Hall, along with Yue and Vinci. We're going to say goodbye together in three, two, one. Bye. Goodbye, AI. <laughs>